Hello, welcome back to Bender Sushi Live Reading. In this episode, we're gonna uh, do a quick exploration of this node called Stripes in Spreadshirt. Um, this node is very uh, kind of mysterious kind of node. It's um, if there is no documentation and there is no example, um, it's gonna be a little bit difficult. But um, luckily, from the conversation. I had with the developer, they provide an example how to create these uh, stripes. Basically, um, we need to provide it with uh, some kind of curve like that. And that's um, currently it's a single object, but can be also a separate object. And we just pipe it in into this guy, and then it's kind of do the lofting. It, we can actually generate this as well. So let's do a quick look at this node compositing spreadshop let's save spreadshop stripes demo 001 um, if I have time I'll, I'll like to do like a write even just a documentation or some example maybe you have to do that this year I like to contribute back to spreadshop add-on um, but live noting is a nice place to explore, I think, and make mistakes. Stripes, malt. It's actually called stripes, but uh, if de depending on the mode here, simple, malt, malt or sign, this guy will change name. Simple square. By default, it's a uh, malt. I don't know why. Um, so. This one asks for vertices, interval, attractor. The simplest example is um, if we use um, Bezier curve. This is the example that's given by uh, Nortikin or Nikitron, uh, one of the developers. So basically, you provide uh, stripes. Um, I'm gonna give, leave this to the side, but I will kind of join this guy. Control J, so this is a single object, and I'm gonna load it using the objects in MK3. Get selections, Bezier curve, and then plug this into that guy, and just viewer draw node. Um, this guy, this node also have multiple output stripes out in and shape um, we can start with the shape I think and right away we get an error and then say multiple heads exception index hmm I believe we need to use a separate loose part here and yeah we are getting something but looks like because I do the scaling and place this object somewhere else, the result is not um, it's not following this. If we want to make this to follow the curve exactly, we need to use the matrix apply vector apply the matrix transformations and then plug that in that guy. So okay, now we have a result and looks like it's just a bunch of dots but depending on the mode simple multiply sign it's not we're not getting any differences maybe the factor and the scale will have any effects no effects hmm let me try stripes out stripes out okay the vector seems to be affecting it and then the scale Stripes in also. Yeah, I found this very interesting kind of a node here. Maybe I can go to edit mode here, edit the curve slightly, and then refresh. Okay, apparently it's it's doing that. So the the order of the curves also matters. Um, I believe we can. We can use a list shift or list shuffle, just shifting the the order of this curve. Okay, 
that's kind of a uh, nice looking the shape I believe to create like a loft thing um, we just use a UV connection plug in the vertices from the shape and then output into that guy and hopefully we get a result okay so we have the slicing in this case if I turn off slicing I get the lofting cool and that's a polygon in the U of V maybe it doesn't matter in this case cycle if we need to oh that's actually quite nice this result um, with a cup so we can have this result if I bake it out oops make sure we don't move the curve so that's quite nice actually can be really useful if you're doing modeling parametric modeling I'm kind of wondering if we just select this curve and then use it here without separate loose part so grab the selection apply the matrix plug in the vector into that guy ah, we do get a result as well I kind of like I like this method more so there's a live lofting cool I always want this feature I, and I I didn't know that Spreadshock has this feature so very very handy um, so we can have more one if we actually group this guy just group them together and control G and then get selection and vertex group if I make another curve here and here maybe it will also love that curve get selection get the group get selection okay but the order is a bit funky Yeah, that's actually lofting. We call it, you should just call this uh, node um, stri stripes lofting. And let me see if we turn it off and scale this a bit. Refresh. And we actually have more control over this lofting. Um, if I if we provide the interval x and interval y using range float oops this one the count and then start stop 0 to 1 and plug into plug into interval we can control the u and the v Yeah, I think that's really nice and you are in a kind of in the object mode and you don't need to you don't need to jump to edit mode and you get this surface very cool almost like um, almost like Maya uh, like we can switch back to this guy simpler version which is this plug that in oh very nice um, yeah actually um previously in Maya I used to do a lot of NURBS modeling um and you RBS non something B spline non uniform something B spline I, I forgot what it stands for but being able to have curve in a 3D space and then can do a lot of things very very handy I haven't tried it on a circle maybe it will work as well 
plug it in get selection select object this is the ah I have to turn off the group so select objects get selection apparently kind of work with the circle as well oh yeah very nice um, we might need to close it up here in the cycle yeah it's not perfect but better than nothing squared mold whether it's kind of wondering whether this has any effect on it so that's probably not like 100% lofting but still that can be really useful so let's get back to this uh, simpler object and okay we have control on that guy we don't want a cycle and let's scale this update it works fine and we also have the attractor function here and this stripes out stripes in etc um, I have not tried this but have a look stripes in stripe in if I think if you use stripes in and bake it out this gonna generate all these stripes that can be also handy if you are doing like an architectural archi uh, architecture kind of work um, if I'm not wrong you can also um, You can use these points and plug it into the matrix because we have all these points, right? We can kind of um, scatter some cube on top. So matrix in the points goes into the matrix and this box. Plug that in the box. Okay. We only have a single stripes. Apparently, with with this guy, um, we need to join them. So this is uh, kind of like a gotcha. Okay, I didn't know that. I need to use this join. Now you know. Uh, this is needed in order for this to work. You can still control the U and the V line. That's handy. Uh, would be nice if the if the box actually follow the curve. Uh, normal. You can you can definitely definitely do that by by using a polygon center polygons and use the normals. Um, but we don't need to do that now. There is one more thing that I want to mention is this uh, attractor. If I use um, an empty and let's use object objects ID out mk2 just get our empty and plug in the matrix matrix out this guy location is going to attractor so we have the location of this empty being tracked by object ID out the output should update every frame okay now we can affect affect the scale of this uh, cube simply by plugging this uh, s coefficient into the size 
So if I Alt A and move the empty, maybe we will get something. Ah, there you go. Factor scale and factor. Um, maybe symbol. Increase the scale, the factor. It has some kind of effects, but I I found that maybe it's not quite hundred percent right. Maybe I need to kind of invert. The result it looks correct on the the last uh, stripes here but not the rest of the queue so I'm kind of wondering why this vector polygon um, that's a mystery maybe I need to reverse it man Use uh, one divided by use this and plug that in there. Okay. So now a little bit better on the last on the last stripes there. As the object get closer it get larger and then yeah that's behaving a little bit better except for the, the rest of the cubes it's a little bit odd. Maybe I need to repeat. Let's see it's working there but the rest of them doesn't behave properly maybe I need to That's the list joins from these stripes. Let me stop the animation for a bit. Maybe I need to repeat the list. On nine times. No, I think I'm missing something, but yeah, probably I'm gonna have a look on that and maybe revisit this note at some other point. But yeah, basically, this uh, stripe node does uh, kind of lofting, and also you can use it to instance a um, bunch of objects and have some kind of uh, this attractor kind of effects. Um, one of the mystery nodes in Spreadshock, it doesn't have much of documentation and uh, maybe because the developer is busy um, but this can be useful if you know how to use it and this is the example I will I will put the this um, I will put this example online and for you to have a look if you have any question feedbacks just let me know and I'll see you in the next video